In Good Shape, your weekly dose of health information on Deutsche Welle. Find out more about what's new in medical treatment, alternative medicine, as well as nutrition, wellness, and beauty. Medical professionals, therapists, and counselors are in our studio to offer their expert advice on In Good Shape. With me in the studio now is Dr. Andreas Michalsen. He's Professor of Complementary Medicine and a practitioner of yoga himself. Welcome in the studio. Hi. Uh, Professor, how would you um, explain yoga to somebody who knows nothing about it? Well, not easy. I mean, uh, yoga is, a, is in its tradition a f philosophical system, an Indian philosophy, but it focuses on... Um, on practice of meditation, body postures and breathing techniques and thereby aims to create awareness and mindfulness in life. So, so it's not just sport? No, not, not at all. Um, this, is, I think, is a misunderstanding in, in the Western um, appreciation of yoga. Yoga is more a holistic system of, uh, of life itself. Mm -hmm. and, and you're a medical doctor. And um, how did you c come up with the idea of doing research in yoga? Well, two things happened. First of all, I myself suffered from low back pain and I tried, yeah, as everybody, I tried some pills and I tried physical therapy, but it did not work very well. And then a friend of mine said, oh, try yoga. And indeed, it worked very well. And I was really surprised. And then, um, yes, yeah, as, as time passed by more and more research, uh, I, I got aware. Uh, and uh, so we, these research data, they convinced me really that it's a good thing. So it's a very personal way to get into yoga. A very, very personal. Yeah. Way. Yeah, it, yeah. it seems very plausible that yoga helps against back pain. And, and what does research tell us about this effect? Well, the effect um, against back pain seems to be much stronger than conventional um, treatment approaches we have. And I think um, the reason is uh, that it combines different factors that are beneficial against back pain. First. Uh, the, the muscle system is built up, that's good. Second, we have the stretching um, uh, factor, but then we also have the stress reduction and the relaxation uh, um, factor. And all of these um, uh, combine to the summarized very good effect of yoga. And you don't get this just from running through the park? Um, well, the relaxation. exercise is, is good, but if we compare the data of exercise versus yoga, yoga, of course, uh, is better. And, and um, what effects uh, has the breathing and the meditation part of it? Is it very important for yeah. the overall think, effect? Yeah, the last years we realized in research how important breathing is for the control of um, the nervous system, of uh, the autonomic nervous system. And so in its traditional way, as yoga is practiced, breathing has a central role. And so the, the systems, the cardiovascular systems, but also the muscle tension systems are in a very nice way, um, let's say, they, they are doing their work more relaxed than compared to a standard sports approach. And, and the relaxation is not just for the cardiovascular system, it's for the mind and the soul as well. Yeah. When it comes to depression, is, is yoga effective in treating depression? Yeah, we have, we have a lot of data from controlled studies that um, at least the minor depression and the minor anxiety uh, syndromes, um, that uh, these patients get relief from yoga practice. And there are different kinds of yoga, um, like going into the gym, there's something like power yoga. Yeah. Uh, we've got a viewer question, Mark McDorsey from Australia wants to know, what about power yoga? Is it okay just to go into the gym and do all those hot workout? Well, it's a trend, uh, power yoga, and I think it's okay for the younger people that don't uh, face any health uh, conditions, health problems. But if one is really sick, one should not uh, do power yoga. Then the traditional, the more mindful, the more silent way is much uh, uh, better to recommend. Because power yoga could be, could be dangerous in yeah, injuring? Yeah. yeah, I mean, there, there is indeed a risk of injury uh, if people just step in and do power yoga without any preparation. And their body is, is just not in shape to do that. And uh, so we have, a, we have a risk of injuries uh, for that yoga forms. Okay. Dr. Michalsen, yoga can help people recovering from breast cancer surgery. Um, how does yoga support the healing process? Well, it's interesting. I mean, uh, women that uh, get diagnosed with uh, breast cancer are uh, shocked, of course, and uh, um, so the risk for depression and anxiety is increased. Uh, 
And unfortunately, this, uh, this increase in depression and anxiety increases mortality from uh, breast cancer. And so the practice of yoga reaffirms their, their self-awareness, their feeling of self-efficacy. They get something, what they can do. And by the way, yoga itself is, is efficacious against depression and anxiety. So we have a nice uh, self-help um, uh, approach uh, with yoga and cancer. So it's not just improving the mood. It's really doing something good for the body. Yeah, it increases uh, quality of life uh, also. And we know these uh, conventional treatments as surgery or radiation, they disturb the, the body feeling also here in the, in, the, in the breast area. And so these breathing techniques from yoga, they, they have some healing power for uh, this uh, body disturbance. And, and can help yoga every patient with breast, uh, breast cancer or are there some who, who shouldn't practice it? Well, I think what's very important is it's only an add-on, uh, uh, measure an add-on treatment, but uh, for that it can be recommended for every patient uh, with uh, breast cancer. Of course, it's necessary that uh, there is a qualified uh, teacher. Mm -hmm. A different disease, high blood pressure. Is yoga helpful in treating blood pressure? Well, the yoga Postures are a little bit helpful, but especially the meditation techniques uh, have uh, shown good uh, um, effects in uh, decreasing blood pressure. Mm -hmm. and, and what other kinds of illnesses can be treated or can benefit from yoga? Well, very, uh, a very important uh, topic are uh, chronic pain syndromes, mm -hmm. low back pain, neck pain, migraine, but also osteoarthritis. Uh, there we have very good effects. But not to forget also the cardiovascular system. So uh, patients that uh, suffered from a myocardial infarction uh, may do very good uh, when they um, do yoga practice in, for preventing a second uh, event, a uh, second cardiovascular event. And are there any patients you wouldn't recommend yoga to uh, because there's any underlying danger? No, in fact, everybody can uh, practice yoga. Um, what is very important that the right yoga um, is selected for the person, for the patient. That means the teacher is the most important thing in this system. So, so it's really necessary to go to a trainer or to go to a teacher. I can't learn this by myself. For instance, just downloading an iPhone app and doing yoga with that? No, no, I, I would not recommend that. It's really very important to have an experienced teacher, especially if yoga uh, is, is done for health purpose. And so we have, and we have a lot of yoga styles um, that can then be adopted to the individual problem. Okay, so we have to see a teacher and then we get into yoga. Yeah. Exactly. Thanks so much for being with us yeah, in the studio. Welcome. Thank you.